Excellent. I'm married. 90. 108. You've got your super challenge questions as well. Excellent. Positive behaviour. Write it down. The perimeter on the outside. Thank you. Every school has access to the outdoors and using outdoor spaces well can have an enormous impact on children's learning. At Hook Primary School in Ghoul, Humberside, Pip Mann has found many practical ways of taking learning outside the classroom. When the school was first built, it was a very square school with a square field with not an awful lot in its outside perimeters. The area that we designed has actually come into an area that's a valuable resource for learning. Right, what we've got to do today, we've got some maths on our vegetables, we've got a group of children who are going to go over into the wildlife area quietly. We've got some potatoes ready, they've got to be weighed and you've got your weighing equipment so we're going to leave you doing this. And boys, you're going to be measuring one of the beds. I would suggest you use the far bed. OK? There's a massive one here, Miss Man. Yeah, we'll use that. It doesn't weigh anything. Let's measure it. The group of children that were doing the measuring on the vegetables have grown the vegetables, so they're meaningful to them. They've had the chance to pull them out. It's their first opportunity to see actually how big the vegetable in its entirety is. 11 centimetres and 4 millimetres. Their maths has improved tremendously and their enthusiasm for maths, which is more important, they're not phased by it, but they also see a real meaning behind why we need to do maths. We have a fair amount each. Weighing potatoes is not particularly very challenging for a year four, so to make it more challenging, I said they were not allowed to weigh all the potatoes at once. They had to divide them up into groups, weigh them, and then add the weights together, which tests their calculations, and they found that actually more challenging because they kept getting different answers. Have we all got the same? Now, now we need to add them together. 418 I've got. All right. 196 centimetres on the outside. When we designed the gardens, we did an awful lot of body measurements to make sure that children reaching across from one side of the garden to the other could actually reach to put the plants in. And they had to measure their own hand spans and make the designs of the gardens according to also the price of the wood because wood evidently comes in specific meterage and the children will had that to bear in mind as well so there was an awful lot of the economics behind of building a garden as well as the actual structure of it which is the design and technology work and then there's the science of all of the growing so it's linked in all the subjects it's cross-curricular I'm just approaching a um, small wildlife area that was developed in the school more or less as soon as I came to the school about 20 years ago. It's an area where the children can come to do quiet work. Um, it's totally enclosed. The children can read or sit and think or have discussions with each other. This group at the moment are discussing their work that they did on our recent visit to Barlow Common. That was where they were actually sitting and watching what was happening by the side of the little lakes. The reflections of the ocean blue sky, the candy floss fluff cloud and the golden sun sparkle in the peaceful rippling lake. A man is fishing on a fishing platform and there's fish swimming in the marshy area of the water. In a quiet corner of the lake there is a man fishing. He waits patiently as the float bobs on the rippling water. The woodland area brings you straight back into nature and the children find that it does help them really focus their minds on the work that they're doing. When you're outdoors, your classroom is all over the place and you can relax more with the children. The main advantage, I would say, is the fact that the children have developed more independence and that means that you can be more adventurous with the tasks that you send the children and the investigations that you give them and they're not phased by anything. In the classroom, they endeavour to really impress me so that I trust them to come outside. 